We will now take a look at the frames I mentioned earlier. Frames are used to outline various portions of your Prezi. You can almost think of them as pages in your presentation. To demonstrate how to use frames, I will again insert the image of the solar system. The solar system is our home image, or our big picture. When presenting a lesson on the solar system, a teacher will most likely want to highlight information about some of the planets in the solar system. Each planet or item in the solar system can be zoomed in on for more information. Frames also help in creating pathways, which will be addressed in the next video. Let's begin by framing our solar system image. Click the Frame tool at the top left of the workspace. There are four options. The first is the bracket frame, then the circle frame, the square frame, and finally the hidden frame. Since our image is square, let's use the bracket or square frame. Click the frame you want so that it is highlighted in yellow. Then, starting at one corner of the image, click once, then move the mouse until the whole image is framed then click a second time to place the frame. Clicking on any part of the frame will open the Zebra for resizing or moving edits. Clicking the play button at the bottom right of the screen will show you what this will look like during the real presentation. Click the X to end and go back to the workspace. Before we frame any planets, let's try the hidden frame. Delete the frame you just created. Now go back to the frame tool and select hidden. Create the frame the same way as before by clicking once in a corner of the image, then framing the whole image and clicking again to place the frame. This frame looks a little different but can be edited the same way using the zebra. If we click the play button again, we now see our image without a frame. A hidden frame is very useful if you want to create a path without frames getting in the way of your images. Let's go back to the workspace and let's leave this hidden frame where it is. Let's move on and frame some of the items within our image of the solar system. Click again on frame. This time, let's try the circle frame to frame a planet. Let's frame Earth. Now let's frame Mars. Let's practice using a hidden frame around Jupiter. Now let's place a bracket frame around space travel. Because of the color of the frame, you may not see it on your image. Let's finish with a square frame around Neptune. If framing seems unimportant right now, don't worry. It will make much more sense when we learn about pathways in the next video.